Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. What's up? Molly here. So long time no see. Just kidding. Not that long. It's been like a week. So I'm here. I'm hungry currently. So we're gonna wrap we're gonna make this video quick and it's hot as well because my fan off and I am I don't know why it's hot. I just get hot and I don't know why. So yeah, so See you for the time of the video, my November, my November TBR, and I am going to be participating in the Hannah Montana Readathon. Uh, this is a new readathon. I cannot remember who it's hosted by. Um, just search Hannah Montana Readathon and you'll find it there. Uh, the announced video and everything. But yeah, I have a pile of 11 books that... I am most likely not going to get to 11 books. Um, maybe two, three, four, I don't know. But we'll see how it goes this month, honestly. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so I have three books that is not, well, technically four, but it's three. Last one is from October that I never finished. And... So, I'm adding it to my November, November TBR. There's another book, uh, The Kiss of Deception, that I'm currently reading. And hopefully I can finish it tomorrow. Tomorrow is the end of October, Halloween. So, but I'm reading another book for Halloween. If I don't finish it, I'll just add it to my November TBR. And that is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Hopefully, fingers crossed that I can finish it. I'm halfway done with it, so hopefully I can finish it. And if not, oh, it's on my November TBR. So, yeah. Um, so, let's just get started. So, the Hen Montana Readathon is taking place from November 1st to uh, November 2nd. No, not 2nd. November 7th. So, it's a week-long readathon. This chair... I have to like be careful, it doesn't make too much noise. I need a new chair. This chair is all like dirty and gross. I could just clean it, but I don't know how to clean the chair. I don't know. Um, let's not get distracted in this video. Let's actually talk about my November TBR. So the Hannah Montana Readathon is a bingo based readathon. So you can do like bingos or you can max out the entire bingo board. And so that's what I plan to do is max out the entire bingo board because I have a cha I have a book for every single challenge. Well, I have I'm going to be what's the word called? Combining challenges for like books. So, I'm going to have the same book for multiple challenges. So, yeah but let's just get started so the first book that i have for the hannah montana readathon is the climb read a book that's recently climbed up on your tbr and that book i have is the 100 by cass morgan uh i recently finished the 100 the show and it is based off a book um, and this is the first book in the series. I don't know how many books there is. I think there's just books for season one. Season one, technically. Um, but if you don't know, this book is about this girl, Clark. Um, there is... Okay, basically there's a hundred of... I was like, what is that noise? It's just my computer. <laughs> um, there's a um, hundred juvenile prisoners and they are sent to earth to see if it's survival or not because they are all live on this thing called the ark the glare on this is real thing called the ark in space because a hundred or so years ago um the planet blew up not blew up but nuclear bombs ruined the planet and so they had to serve not like, there was, like, certain, like, people already on these space stations and who had to survive there to serve, to save the human race, basically. Um, so, they are sent down to the ground, the 100, uh, uh, 
children or young adult, the teenagers who uh, are criminals and they, uh, if you are an adult, if you're over eight, 18 and over, you get floated, um, which is you get sucked out into space, you're executed. But if you are below 18, you are kept in Inside the prison area until you're 18 and then when you're 18 you get floated so um but yeah so this is the story of them being sent to the ground and they have to survive there to see if it's survival or not and yeah um so I really love the tv show so I heard that the book is kind of different than the tv show so I really want to see like the differences and everything and yeah, I'm pretty sure the series is just based off season one. But yeah, so this is for, this book is climbing up my TBR because I do want to read it because I just finished the TV show for the first time technically. Because season seven just came out like a couple weeks ago and I finally finished it. So yeah. So I can't wait to get this to this book. So this is the book that is climbing up my TBR recently. And challenge number two is if we were a movie, read a book that you think would make a great movie based off the synopsis or that is already a book to movie adaptation. So this, um, I already read the first, second, and third book, but this is a short story. No, not short story. What would you call it? Um, novella. It is a novella. Uh, novella. So this book or this series I think would be a great movie um, and it may or may not be. I think it's picked up but like Marissa Meyer. Oh, I think I, I exposed who I was talking about. She recently on an Instagram was like oh would you rather see this book series in a movie or a TV show? And I voted movies. No did I? I think I voted movie. I think this would be a great movie um, and everything. But I, this is a novella, and I chose Theris by Marissa Meyer. This is the next book I need to get to in the Lunar Chronicles series. And then I have Winter, and I think they have like something else that's uh, with the robot, the android, Cinders, uh, Iko, I can't remember how to pronounce her name. But yeah, so this is all about Queen Lavana, uh, where she is the moon queen. So uh, they uh, live on the moon, and she is the ruler of those people who live on the moon. And they have these special powers that you can, they can mind control basically. But this is all about Queen Lavana's story and everything. And so I really want to read this novella. And yeah, so. I would love to see um, this uh, the Lunar Chronicles books made into movies, so that would be really cool because I like I love these books, and so yeah. But this book is all about the Queen, and so yeah, this is the next book I have to get to in the series. But yeah, I'd love to see this series or this book or just um, just the series in general into a movie. So yeah. And the next uh, prompt is true friend. Read a book featuring a strong friendship. And so I feel like this book has some strong friendships in it between the main character and this family and this other boy, this love triangle thing. Um, this book has been on my TBRs for years now, not years, but since like 2017. I have yet to read this book because I finally, I finished Eclipse like a couple years ago I think and so this book has been on my TBR for like a couple years now and I have yet to read it and it's just so big and so I'm always, I'm not intimidated but it's never a book that I get to, like say if I do it for a readathon, I like never get to the book because usually for readathons I only read like two books because I don't read that many books in a week, so yeah. But hopefully I can get to it um, if I do this book first instead of like other books because I never put this, because you don't have to do challenges in order. And so like this book is never like one of the challenges that I do first, which I should, 
honestly. But yeah, so that book is Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. Who surprised? Not me. Um, but this is the last and final book. That's a lie. I would say in the main trilogy, the last and not trilogy, the main series, uh, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. That was my chair that just made that noise. It's breaking. Um, but yeah, this is the last and final one of the original series per se that I have to get done. And then you have Life and Life and Death, I think. I think that's what it's called. Then you have Midnight Sun. So yeah. But I need to finish. I need to not finish, but I need to actually read Breaking Dawn for the first time forever. Uh, that was a Frozen reference if you didn't know. But um. Yeah, I, I just need to read this book. So, and this book is for other challenges as well. So, there is, I think, nine challenges total. So, yeah. Um, the next challenge is Rockstar. Read a five-star prediction, a book you think will be a rock star. Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. I think this will be five stars. Because Breaking Dawn movie, the two Breaking Dawn movies are, I like them. They're one of my favorites to watch. So, yeah, I think this book will be a five stars, hopefully, fingers crossed. But, yeah, a five stars prediction, I think it will be. Which is Nobody's Perfect. Read a book with a morally gray main character. So, I didn't, I didn't really understand the term morally gray. Um, because I've never really heard that term before until... I've been hearing it recently though, throughout booktube, and then on this it says morally gray character. So I guess a villain or like someone who uh, does not have good morals and so they're morally gray and they don't have any morals I guess at all. So I chose You by Caroline Kepnes. This was on the recommendation page, on the Hannah Montana recommendation page. Uh, Joe Goldberg is a morally gray character. He doesn't really have any morals. He kills people. If you haven't seen the show, you totally should. It's really good and I love it. So I have yet to read the book and I really want to read the book and I heard it's really creepy and it's in second person point of view. So it's talking about, it's Joe's point of view, but he's talking about you. Like you do this, you do that. And so I think it's from his point of view, but it's from the, I'm pretty sure it's second point of view. Honestly, I don't know how any of these things work, but yeah, I think that's, I think that's how they work. I don't know. I just heard that it's really creepy and it's all about, oh, you do this, you do that. So you are, uh, in the head of Joe, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, it's the point of view of Joe. Okay, so we got that cleared. It's all about, if you know what you was all about, it's all about this guy, Joe. He stalks and then falls in love with this girl, Guinevere Beck, or Beck, as she goes by. And so it's like they're his stalking story and their love story. And then, you know, you have to watch the TV show. It's really good. And read the book. I'm going to read the book. Hopefully, finally. Fingers crossed that I do. So, yeah. And then the next book, or the next challenge, I just just say, Best of Both Worlds. Reading, uh a dual slash point uh slash multiple perspective book uh so i recently found out that this is a multi or like two i think it's only i think it's two point of view uh book um uh, i didn't know i thought it was only one but i saw someone read his, oh i just exposed the book i saw someone reading this book and they were like talking about how it's a multi or like two point of view book so yeah that book is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir um I know a little bit about this book 
Um, it's all about this boy and this girl. Um, the Martial Empire uh, defines this meant. So if you defy like their empire, you die basically. Uh, Leah or Leia, I think it's Leia, uh, and her family do not challenge the empire. They've seen what happens to those who do. But when Leah, Leah, Leia's brother is arrested for treason, she is forced to make a decision. In exchange for help, she help from rebels who promise to rescue her brother. She will risk her life to spy for them from within the empire's greatest military academy. There, Leia meets Elias, the school's finest soldier, and secretly, its most unwilling. He and Leia will soon realize that their destinies are intertwined and that their choices will change the fate of the empire itself. Uh, basically, there's this boy and this girl, and Leia's brother gets arrested, and so she goes to the military and their academy. She insists on the boy, Elias, and he does not like the academy, I think. And so, like, and then they fall in love, basically. But, yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about this book, and everyone likes it. And so, hopefully, I like it as well. So, for the challenge of best of both worlds, two point of views. And the next challenge is She's Got Nerve. We're going to thriller, suspense, and no or horror book horror book can't read my own handwriting um and that book i chose that was my film um that book i chose was no exit by taylor adams i heard i think it was books and lala talking about this book i think it was her um it's all about um this psychopath <laughs> uh a determined young woman must unmask and outwit a vi outwit a vicious psychopath in this tense and clever clever tale of suspense i wish i could talk half the time um on her way to utah to see her dying mother college student darby blizzard uh darby throne thorn i wish i could read and talk honestly <laughs> Um, Thorne gets caught in a fierce blizzard in the Colorado Rockies. With the roads impassable, she forced to wait in the storm at a remote highway rest stop with no cell phone reception. Inside are some vending machines, a coffee maker, and four complete strangers. So, she's stuck. And there's this child who is locked in the van in an animal crate. So she's parked next to the car or the van parts next to her car. And so there's a child in there locked in the animal crate and there's a kidnapper and one of the guys who are at the rest stop is the kidnapper and so it's that story of like needing to break out the child um, and who can she trust and who can she not um, and it's just the story of that basically um she's at a rest stop and there's four strangers and a child locked in an animal crate and she doesn't know who she can trust like who is the kidnapper she doesn't know um and it's the story of like how she's gonna get that child out of the animal crate so it sounds really cool and there's yeah so yeah challenge of she's got nerve and so this is like a thriller so, yeah, I'm very excited to read this because it sounds really amazing. And the next challenge. He could be the one. He could be the one. Read a book featuring a romance. And that book is Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer, Edward and Bella. Ooh. <laughs> um, and Rosalie and... What's his name? Wait, what is his name? It's not Edward. <laughs> Wait, what is his name? Rosalie and someone else. What is... I literally... I don't know his name. I cannot think of his name. Oh my gosh. Emmett. That's his name. I knew it started with an E. 
Emmett. Uh, Rosalie and Emmett, and then you have Alice and Jasper, and then you have Esme and um, Dr. Colin. Where's I can't remember his name. Is you fake fan? <laughs> We're just gonna say Dr. Colin. So um, there's a little bit of romance in this book. So yeah, he could be the one. He could be the one. That was probably bad singing, and I may or may not cut it out. I don't know. I can sing. He could be the one. He could be the one. He could be the one. That's not... I'm trying to figure out the right note. He could be the one. He could be the one. He could be the one. I hate when my camera stops recording. Eh. He could be the one. He could be the one. If that's terrible singing, you ain't gonna see it. But if it's not, well, you're seeing it. So, yeah. The last and final challenge for the Hannah Montana Reathon is I Wanna Know You. Read it under Heights book. You haven't heard a lot of people talk about, but you're interested in. And that book is... Busted by Gina Sikio. Sikio? C. Sikio. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's all about this girl who spies on this uh, boy. Uh, I think her best friend's boyfriend. I think. Oh, she's the queen of busting two time, two timing boys. Um, it's her, it's for ex frenemy Kendall. She's convinced that her boyfriend TJ has feeling for someone else and persuades Marissa to start spying on him. <gasps> the, but the more Marissa spies on him, she catches feelings. Um, and the feelings seem to be mutual. Marissa knows she needs to get up on her, give up on her investigation and is spoken for a guy who may be the love of her life. Then she uncovers new secrets about Kendall and TJ, discovers that take cheaters to a whole new level. Dun dun dun! So it's all about this girl who spies on this other girl's boyfriend to see if he has feelings for another girl. Um, so, and she starts spying on him, Marissa. So... There is that. And no one really, no, I've seen like one person I think talk about this book. And so it's really underhyped. And I've been meaning to get to it. And I think it's the perfect time to do so. So, yeah. And the next four books. <laughs> um, the next three books I have are for a special video. But I'm still going to tell you about them. But not what they're for. I have A Court of Mist and Fury, which is the second book to the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. So I started reading this book and I got to like page 69 and then I put it down because I was reading so many books at that time and so I wasn't paying any attention to this book and so I didn't make a lot of progress in a lot of those books that I was reading for the longest time um all together so yeah but this book is a hunk of a book how many pages is it 600 no 600 624 pages so yeah so this is for a special thing that i'm doing a special video i haven't started it yet because it's not november and so this is on my november tbr so hopefully i can get to it and if not, it's going to go on my December TBR because I really want to do this video. But the next book I have is a faith-based book, a Christian book, Unlocking the Miraculous Through Faith and Prayer by Daniel Col Colenda. Colenda? Um, it's, ba uh, it's written by... I think it's through The Send. It's a Christian-based... Um, I can't remember what it's not company 
they like do like concerts around the world and they do the these really cool things but um yeah but unlocking the mir miraculous through faith and prayer it's all about faith and prayer and yeah so i want to learn more about like not learn because i already know but i mean you're learning about things that you already know every single day um you may not know some things are in about what you already know so um yeah and then the last and final book on on this challenge thing i was reading it and then i stopped and so there's some tabs in it but i'm going to continue reading it and that book is everybody always by bob goff this is another christian book but um bob goff is a famous christian writer um it's all about um reveals the lessons bob learned often the hard way about what it means to love without inhibition insecurity and restriction from finding the right friends to discovering uh discovering the upsides of failure everybody always points to the right way to embodying love by doing the unexpected the intimidating the seemingly impossible whether losing his shoes while skydiving, skydiving solo or befriending a Uganda witch doctor, Bob Sesson steps into life with a no limits embrace of others that is an infectious, 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 I think, as it is an extraordinary, ordinary. Everybody always reveals how we can do the same. That's what that is about. Um, so, yeah. And then the next and final book that I have for my November TBR is i'm already currently reading this and you already knew i told at the beginning of the video is get out of your head by janine allen um how we think shapes how we live the greatest spiritual battle of our generation is taking place between our ears again and again we allow false false thoughts about who we are to influence our thoughts about god about who God is and how he is at work in our lives. But we have the opportunity to stop our spitting minds and escape toxic thinking patterns. And get, a, get out of your head, Janine Allen helps you transform your life by renewing, renewing your mind as she explores how what you believe about God shapes how you think of yourself, the negative thought patterns that are keeping you stuck, how to hold space for silence and community and why they matter, the science between no the science behind why your thoughts can change your life your god-given power to confront and overcome your theories fears when you reclaim your thinking patterns from the lies of the enemy you are set free to set others free in a very real way your thoughts can change the world so janine in the uh, in the battle and step boldly into freedom change is possible you can live free so this is another christian based book and it's all about get out of your head and how to stop those toxic and negative thoughts and how to transform your thinking into positive ones if you're having like all these negative thoughts and toxic thoughts and everything and how to get closer to god and transforming your thoughts into good ones and thoughts that are uh about god and just and um and how your thoughts about god and everything and yeah and that is the last and final book and so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video because if you did um uh, i hope you give this a big old thumbs up and subscribe down below to see more of me and if you enjoy my content and hit that little bell button to be notified whenever i do post a new video if you want to be notified you don't have to if you don't want to um but it would be amazing if he did so you knew what i posted um and then comment down below your november tbr and what is on your november tbr that you're most looking forward to i love to know so yeah that is it for today's video and i will see you guys in the next one bye